It's Turbo Dave here, Performance Corner. Talking about the Ford 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. Uh, specifically the heads. Heads are flowing uh, well over 300 CFM. They look like they're doing, these engines actually are doing really well, making horsepower. Uh, no different than any other, you know, head. They're getting a little massage. You got some valve train stuff going on, upgrades, port and all that stuff, port and polish. But uh, the factory head is making the power. You're not even having to buy aftermarket heads like you see on most engines. Most engines, no matter what, in the American car market, there's a plethora of aftermarket heads. These aftermarket heads, you know, are bought because they have better performance, different valves, valve trains, uh, port dimensions or port uh, shapes, sizes, all that. With the um, this Ford, it's flowing so much air. There's no need for it, you know, to be a different design, and the heads are strong. So this thing's making a ton of power. It's making um, about 100 horsepower per liter NA, or just over 100 horsepower per liter NA, you know, when they modify them. And they're making a ton of power. I mean, like almost uh, d double plus two and a half to three times, uh, you know, force induction on the stock heads, the basic heads, and block too. Um, so this engine is really shaping up to be something. When you're talking, you know, over 300 CFM, when you compare that to a factory Coyote head off the five liter, uh, which is a very common engine, you know, those are about two, uh, those are 275, 285, depending on what year uh, heads you get, which is a ton of airflow. Most V8s don't flow anywhere near that. I think the uh, Chevrolet has one special heads out of the factory and they flow 250, I think is their max. But you know, when you're flowing that much air, it's easy to make horsepower, and the components are strong, you know, so they're handling the horsepower, whatever you're putting to it, which is awesome, because this is definitely a good fighter engine, um, ready to take on just about anything. At 7.3 liters, you know, it's a good size engine, it's a large engine, and you have the heads that are flowing over, well over 300 CFM, that's awesome, I mean, that that's the package that makes it, right? You have the, uh, a big displacement, you're flowing a lot of air. The package in itself is just over a, a 351 Windsor, one inch taller, one inch wider. Fits into a lot of chassis then. Um, this thing's crazy though. The cylinder heads are, are absolutely the best thing that you could ask for. Um, putting larger valves, it's got room for larger valves. You got a better cam, you got a better valve train, you know, less uh, rotating inertia. So th this is definitely definitely a bow tie killer i mean uh if you're if you're in the american car market racing this thing is making a lot of power you see a lot of guys swapping chevy engines and the mustangs for drag racing stuff i think that's going to change with this engine and i think this is a perfect engine for that between like i said the size and the heads flowing you don't have to purchase new heads you know every manufacturer's uh that makes heads have heads for Chevys, Ford, you know, Ford 302s, Windsors, everything. So you get to use the stock components. This is going to be an awesome crate engine um, to do something with, you know, as far as an American V8 car. And uh, it's funny because Ford actually took a step back and went back to push rods to build this engine, um, which in a way was needed just because twin cam engine uh, heads are great. Um, they flow a lot of air. They have high revs. The individual components are lightweight, but they're kind of hard when you have two of them side by side on a on a good angled engine, you know. So you're getting a higher angle engine than a very narrow engine, and so you you're limited on space, and that's a problem I th they had with the Coyote. I mean, if you look at a Ford GT, like a 0506 GT, those are massive engines. Great, make a ton of power but they're just massive engines when you stick in a ford gt it's it's easy because there's a ton of space back there it's just a frame you know a tube frame but and most chassis where you have a front engine rear drive and you have a unibody it's a tighter space to get into so these being slightly larger than a 351 windsor um and it flows a ton of air and you have a really strong head and block combination that's awesome you know, I'm actually looking forward to the next two years or so when people start using these more in their uh, 
in their drag cars or any car, you know, street performance, this is going to be an awesome upgrade, especially for uh, older cars where, like a Fox body, they're harder to get the late model Coyotes in there, or, you know, or the 5.4s or anything else. They're harder to get into those, but you have this awesome 7.3 liter. It'll fit in the side there. You know, guys used to put Windsors and stuff in there. These are going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Keep up with us. We're going to keep up with that engine for sure um, for the awesome work that they've done. This is Turbo Dave here at Performance Corner. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe.